dog sledding to me and from my experience is that it, it tends to be a bucket list activity. You know, you grow up, you watch the movie Balto, and then there's, that just plants a little seed in your head. We are in Whistler. We are about to go dog sledding on an epic adventure. I'm so excited. I've never done anything like this before. It's really cold, we're bundled up, but the energy's got me excited. I can't wait to meet them. They're about to come out. That's my good boy, Dasher. Come on, dogs. Hi. We're trappers run dog sledding, and um, we take racing dogs and sled dogs that aren't being used in their current homes, and we rehome them and give them a lighter workload, and we try to make them affectionate at the same time. Because at the end of their working careers, which is usually around eight or nine years old, that's when we're going to adopt them out and try and find a home for them um, so that they can enjoy the couch life. If the dog doesn't get adopted, well then it just gets yeah. free time. You're a good girl. One of the things that I truly love about this activity is that it's an activity for anybody. It can be as adventurous an activity as you want it to be. If you'd like to sit in the dog sled, wrapped up in blankets for the whole experience, that's fantastic. You're on holiday, you deserve it. If you'd like to get hands-on, help harnessing, help yoking, even do a little bit of mushing, we can facilitate that as well. That wasn't so hard. I feel like a pro already. Ready, oh. hi! Yeah! So you can expect to drive the dog sled, get cared for by your guide, and you can also expect to be very hands-on with the dogs. So if you want to practice harnessing, if you want to learn the dog's history, their lineage, we're, we're very happy to inform you. Also, people are going to get cold, get snowy, and just get out of their comfort zone a little bit. 